There is an ongoing case study challenge that I am doing on Twitter and this is basically to allow people become kind of consistent with creating a solid case study for their portfolio that can land them opportunities and i've seen this happen even with my mentees and all of that so i've decided to bring it to the public and everyone interested should have a try um, so every day i post new screens about three new screens designed for them to go through this and most of these references are taken from the boat app so if you have the app you can also explore more while i was going through my twitter account i noticed someone asked a question and no question is stupid every question is very very important so don't be shy to ask your questions and i saw someone ask the question on how can you do this overlay i felt i felt like the person didn't want to ask me because probably the person felt I wouldn't answer the question or maybe whatever the person was thinking. So the person asked a fellow designer under the chat section or comment section of the post. And I it struck me and I felt like um, I should create this video for you guys to see how to do this. It's very, very easy. So I'm just going to take you through it now so to do this and the overlay is basically this you know when you click on a particular item and then it gives you a dialogue uh, uh, model or, or frame where you take extra actions it either prompts you when you want to sign out when you want to delete an account when you want to take certain actions so we use this overlay to prompt the user to be sure that is exactly what they want to do so to do this is very easy all you need to do is have your first frame so we're going to have our first frame i'm going to get rid of of the other stuff now i already know my frame i'm using the iphone 13 mini and it's very easy for you to do so all you need to do now is draw a frame so i draw a frame and i'll make it the size exactly the size of my iphone 13 mini so to do that come to width and just type in 375 and that's the width of the frame and the height is okay so that's it i'm going to call this um overlay you don't need to title yours but i just like titling things so that i don't get lost in between all right with that i'm going to change this to 000 which is the default black and change the percentage to 40 percent just type in 40 and put in 00 or you open here and just drag it down you see you can drag anywhere just drag it down 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 right and down down left and down right is pure black and then the top is white top left all right so we have that at 40 percent don't change this to 40 percent if not every element inside of this overlay would take on 40 percent and you don't want it looking um transparent all right so we have this and the next thing we're going to do is get out this design now because i'm doing this i'm going to just redesign this from scratch and all i have to do is just get out this text this text is 20 and then i'll get out the body text all right this one is 14 i'll select both of them put them on auto layout give them a distance of 16. now to put in auto layout i'm using the shortcut so in case you're following along all i did was shift plus a a for apple all right and that's what i did there and then you can now add your buttons i'm just going to grab my button the text on my button is 16 all right 16 and bold and you can do that for yours as well and then i'm i'm using a button of height uh, uh my button height is 48 and that is a vertical padding of 14 and then the um horizontal padding doesn't really matter it depends on the grid in your design all right so we have this and we'll just get out the last one which is this and that's that uh, for now i'm going to select both buttons and put them in auto layout and their proximity will be 16 so that the users can easily click on the button let's center that select this guy put him in auto layout with this other element and i'll give it a distance of 24 all right so let's make this back let's turn it to white um, or gray so that we can see what we're doing so we have this now 
there are only two elements to add to this so i'm going to grab this and this and i'm going to just move them out this way all right now with this all we need to do is actually get out a grid we need to use a grid i have some grids that i'm using here so i'll just i'll just stick to this one i think i was using anyone you just ensure you're using the same grid with your design right with that all we need to do now is give this um give it a horizontal padding um i'm just going to give it to get to that point of our grid you can see the line touching our grid all right so that's 24 all right and then i would give it a, a vertical padding of 16 and that's 16 all right and then give it a radius of 16 as well i love using 16 it gives it a more friendly look except you're working for something more serious then you can use eight four or you can use zero all right give it i have some colors here so i'm just going to choose white and i would close out the grid for now now we have this all right it's time to add this element so we're going to pick it and drop it in our frame we're going to pick this one and also drop it in our frame but just like you saw the absolute positioning uh video so all i would do now is position this with absolute positioning so absolute position click on it and then i would take this to the far right and over there i would also add some i'll break my horizontal and vertical padding to have these four points all right and then for the top one i'm going to change it to times two to do that all i need to do is hold shift click on it to get that asterisk type in two and press enter it will multiply it by two and that is what i was rooting for but for now i change that to 16 i would use times three so times three and that should do the magic all right so we have this now and uh, that's pretty much it so all you need to do now is change that background of the frame carrying the other one to black and then change that to 40 percent and with this you can now cut it ctrl x to cut it and then we can now paste it inside of our frame ctrl v to paste all right i don't know why that didn't work but it's expected to paste and that is it guys so that's 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 more like it all right um so if you learned anything from this just leave me a comment and i'll be glad to see it it pushes me to create more content for you guys and whatever you need me to create you can also leave it in the comment section and i'll definitely work on it bye for now